At this time, I'd like to invite our provost, Dr. Rafael Bras, and Mr. Santiago Calatrava to please join me at the podium. The most significant honor a university can bestow is the honorary degree. At Georgia Tech, we hold these degrees very dear. Only 24 honorary degrees have ever been awarded in the Institute's 128-year history. Honorary degree holders include President Jimmy Carter, Atlanta Mayor Ivan Allen Jr., astronaut John Young, oil executive Pete Silas, and Senator Sam Nunn. Today, the Georgia Institute of Technology will confer its 25th Honorary Doctor of Philosophy upon Mr. Santiago Calatrava. Provost Bross, will you please hood Dr. Calatrava. The honorary degree reads, to all whom these presents may come, greeting. Whereas Santiago Calatrava has perfected a unique architectural style that bridges the division between structural engineering and architecture, has elevated the status of civil engineering to new heights through his innovative designs, has designed the bold and forward-looking World Trade Center transportation hub station in New York City, as is a prolific sculptor and painter who believes that the practice of architecture combines all the arts into one. Now, therefore, we do hereby confer the degree of Honorary Doctor of Philosophy with all the rights, privileges, and honors thereunto appertaining, in witness whereof the signature of the Chancellor of the University System of Georgia and the President and Registrar of the Georgia Institute of Technology are hereto subscribed, and the seal of the Institute is affixed. Given in Atlanta on the 13th day of December, 2013. Congratulations, Dr. Kala Trava. Mr. Uh, uh, President, Distinguished professors, uh, uh, graduates, uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is uh, an enormous honor for me to be here with you this evening. And it's also a moment in which uh, uh, you would like to say to the young people here in front of me something who may uh, have sense. But entering here and seeing the dancing robots uh, seeing this enormous scream with my image up in the top, even hearing the music of Bach, of the Goldberg variation repeated and repeated in the, uh, during the ceremony, uh, you really are intimidated in front of the power of the technique. And uh, then uh, I tell to me, what should I share with you? What should I give you uh, uh, in a very short manner? And they are, uh, uh, I think maybe it, it is uh, important to share with you a personal experience who uh, looks into the back. Uh, at the time I was in Greece, somebody uh, read me a sentence in Old Greek who says, en archi in o logos, and means in the beginning was the word. Logos, but logos means also the logic, and it means the idea. So I thought in the beginning of many things, in the world is also embedded the idea. And I started a bit thinking around, you know, what means, uh, for example, the word engineer, who come from ingenious, ingenious, and what means the word architect which it is also my profession. And then I discovered the word architect is composed of two words, arch and tecton. Arch is a very ancient word. It comes from the Sanskrit and means authority. 
and tecton is a Greek word, who means worker. At the same time, the word tecton is also has the same root like the word, like the word uh, technique or techniki, who means technique, and has also the same root as the word art, who in ancient Greek means techne. So the worker through technique may produce art. Now the Greeks, who was very rational people, they thought, and what is the difference between a worker who does pure technique and a worker that through technique achieves art? And then looking at the objects, he said the object produced by this worker that through technique can deliver art touch me. So there is a, and produce in me an emotion. So there is something in material between the object and me who goes beyond the power of this man. So this man has something special in order to produce this object who I call techne or art. And then they thought this man is possessed by the spirits or this man is possessed by God. And then they call that en theos asmos. En asmos means to be possessed and theos means God. So it means that the worker is en theos asmos who is at the origin of our word enthusiasm. So still, you know, you see in, through all those uh, 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 centuries, you see the word uh, conserves even today the signification. Through that, I understood my profession a little bit like that. Like a worker who guides workers in order through technique, try to achieve art with the help of God. To all of you, and for all of you, I thought also it make sense to go to even to another book written three, more than 3,000 years ago and who started like this other with the same word. In one is energy in Greek, who means in the beginning, and in the other uh, book uh, started with the word berechit, who means also in the beginning. And there is a sentence who say, I call, I call him by his name and fill him with the grace of God in wisdom and in understanding and in knowledge to fulfill the skillful, skillful works in gold and silver and brass. Now, if you read well, the two sentences are one after the other, and you could imagine that wisdom means gold, understanding means silver, and knowledge means bronze, who was all precious uh, materials at the time. So you has also been called by your name, or will be called by your name, and receive the testimony of the wisdom, the understanding, and the knowledge that this institution has given to you. This will be for the world through the fruit of your work as gold, silver, and brass. Thank you, and congratulations to you all. Thank you very much.